as the casket containing Jacob Alanya's body was being lowered from the Ethiopian Airways plane that had transported it from the United States, one couldn't miss the fact that the casket was wrapped in the national flag. The bumpers of the vehicle in which the body was being transported were wrapped in the national flag too. In recent months, there have been other officials whose coffins have been wrapped in the Ugandan flag. But this has been mostly visible at the barriers of deceased army officers like Major General Paul Lokech. The Minister of ICT and National Guidance, Dr. Chris Variumonsi, says this privilege is reserved for a few people. There are two types of burials which are of high significance. We have a state funeral and an official funeral. Now when you see the flag wrapped over the casket, over the coffin, it symbolizes the state funeral. And uh, Jacob Alanya has been accorded a state funeral, which is the highest level of recognition. And this is reserved for uh, heads of state, uh, former heads of state, uh, the speaker and deputy speaker if they die in the office because there is a specific law which parliament passed. What happens to the flag at the end of it all? When the casket is being lowered into the grave, the flag has to be removed because we can't bury a national flag. The flag belongs to the state, it's for the government. Jacob Olanya will be buried on Friday in Lalogi village in Omoro district. Oliver Kimgisha, NTV News.